Hello, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a low poly medieval weapon which is shown here. Uh, how you can set up uh, this kind of uh, background image you can check out in my other tutorial but here we're going to just show some tips and tricks about creating a low poly game item. We're going to start with sphere and we're going to go to top view. We're going to draw. We're using top view because we want the peak to be on the top and the bottom of the sphere. So we're going to set 18 segments and approximately 1 centimeter. We will have to move it, align it to the position, and we're going to scale it up to 2. We're going to change the color to blue so the lines are better visible. So whenever we are creating a low poly item, it is good to have a poly count uh, open, so we can find poly count under utilities, more, and polygon counter. We're going to set it up here so it's not going to be in the way. So we are going to count polygons and you can set here the budget so uh, uh, we can see that the selected object has two, uh, 288 polygons and the budget is 1000. I have uh, another object hidden so here there are more polygons uh, shown than that are visible in the canvas. So back to the canvas. First I'm going to show you how you can uh, create. First we're going to transform it to editable poly and go to bottom view and select uh, this bottom part. We're going to click ignore back facing so when we select these polygons the top will not will be left alone. If this is not checked then the top polygons would be selected too. This is one of the tips this tutorial so we're going to hold shift and click inset and we're going to set it 0.1 and we're going to click shift and extrude go to front view and if this is in the way we can click on the name and drag it to the side we're going to click Alt X to make the object transparent. Then we're going to set approximately set the length of this handle. So now we're going to go to top view and again we're going to click ignore back facing and we're going to select the top the top part. It is it is wise to deselect ignore back facing when we are done with selection because we can have trouble afterwards if we forget to do this. We're going to click shift and bevel and we're going to use two centimeters or rather one centimeter. 
and approximately minus 0.2 click OK now we're going to control click the vertices so the vertices are selected and we're going to weld them together we just need to set the value so they are all welded together so we can see before we had 218 vertices and now we have only 200 vertices so now we are going to alt text to make it visible again and we're going to select polygons to create these sharp points of this weapon so whenever you are creating uh, the base for this kind of uh, model where we must have uh, appropriate number of sides to be able to select polygons and have the same amount of polygons between them it is wise to check the number if the number is uh, working for you before you uh, change the sphere into editable poly so now where we are we have selected the polygons and we're going to click control sh uh, shift uh, bevel and we are going to make it minus 0.1 just uh, they don't overlap and we're going to use a smaller amount here 0.8 maybe even smaller 0.5 Click OK. Again, we control, click on the vertices and weld them again. So we easily get this kind of uh, shape. So now we're going to go to front view, Alt X to make it transparent again. And we're going to select edge and we're going to select swift loop. We're going to draw some edges just to just to make it uh, where the handles would be for the other parts that we are going to create so now we have these edges select created and we're going to select polygons and these polygons and we're going to click and shift click on the extrude and we're going to extrude on local number and we're going to extrude in point three point two. Okay. Now here we have uh, we select edges. We're going to select this one too, and we're going to shift connect it once. We use the connect to make it in the middle. So now we have edges selected, and we're going to extrude them. Shift extrude and we're going to be using the same amount, 0.2 and we can leave the this uh, as it is so here we are going to again make some I'm doing the same thing as before. Now here we have again uh, we have to select these polygons to create this bottom point.
part of this weapon. Again, we're going to hold Shift and let's say Bevel. And we're going to select 0, 2. Just to make a small amount of Bevel. Then we're going to control a uh, control click on the vertices under selection and we're going to align them on the z-axis and we're going all back to the polygons and we're going to bevel again we're going to control click on the vertices and weld them together we're going to go to top view and with vertices still selected we're going to use uh, select an uniform scale and scale them inwards so now if we alt x to make it visible again we can see we have nice base mesh low polygon base mesh for this weapon created in just about 10 minutes and this is perfectly for uh, games and for creating uh, some low poly uh, model for use in uh, ZBrush for example where, where we can create this kind of detail that is shown on the picture and then create an UV map and normal map and texture map and then bring it back to 3ds max and apply it to this low polygon uh, model and we have the end result so if we render you can see what we created so guys this is pretty much it I hope you learned something new and till next time may enjoy bye